Right, hello everyone, welcome back to Klopp Talk TV. Before you do this, like, subscribe and turn the post notifications on if you want to see more videos like this. Anyway, by the headline, I'm not really happy that my knee just is slow. I'm not really happy. Um, you know, it looks, it's the 18th of January now, Liverpool. Um, it's been reported by Daily Mail that Genie One Album is going to reject last ditch offers from uh, Liverpool um, to pursue a childhood dream of joining Barcelona. Um, obviously, it's a kick in the teeth, um, to say the least, but, um, you know, I just think it's, it's very, it's very unlike uh, Liverpool um, to act this way around Genie One Album. I think they should have... Um, it's understood to be around wages, um, and he wants a significant uh, pay rise on his new contract. Um, well, he's currently on. I've got the stats here. He's currently on seventy-five thousand pound a week. Now, uh, Alex Oxley Chamberlain's on one hundred and thirty, along with Naby Kate on one hundred and thirty, and Nat Phillips, who is our backup centre back, who's twenty-three, he's been on loan. He's on. He's on sixty grand a week. Uh, 65 sorry which means genie one album is only 10 grand uh, more than a reserve player um which you know you can understand why he's obviously quite animated about it but um he's it's, it's been reported he's already rejected a first contract offer but then um it was also cleared up by Fabrizio Romano and Sky Sports that he had not rejected a club offer, but the deal had gone into a stalemate. Um, which means that, you know, with the wages I just listed out to you, it's it's poor that Liverpool aren't willing to um, offer the man more. I think the, the amount of stuff he's done for the club has just been phenomenal. Um, and I, I, if I was... Michael Edwards or whoever's behind this, I'd give him the money in a heartbeat. I think he really does deserve it. Um, you know, he's two goals in the Champions League semi final. He's a big game player. Middlesbrough, he got us to the Champions League group stages. Um, you know, he's he scored in crucial goals that we we must not forget about. And you know, it just looks like from the every day, just looks like his chances are staying. Are ebbing away, which is obviously um, not nice to see, but you know we'll we'll see. Hopefully, a miracle happens in the next thirteen days, twelve days. But I honestly, I can't see it. I can't see it. But on to other news, um, more positive news. Liverpool have been emerged to have been linked with Adam Traore from Wolves. Um, it's reported that he's not happy with the amount of game time he's been getting from New Wolves. And Nuno Espirito Santo. Um, first of all, I don't think these there's got really any substance to it. I think Adam Atriori is a brilliant player, but I think um, if he wants game time, he I don't think Liverpool would um, kind of meet that demand with obviously Salah, um, Shakiri. But I think he would get ahead of Shakiri. But um, you've also got Minamino. He probably would get ahead of Minamino, but still, he's probably going to be on the bench. So, I don't think Liverpool will cash in for Adam Traore, especially in this current climate. And it's not a, a position which they really need to go out in, especially as they got Jota uh, last summer for 35 mil, or 45 mil, I think it was. 45 mil. Anyway, the, the news on Upper Meccano and Botman has dissipated and gone quite quiet. Um, RB Leipzig have confirmed that they will not um, sell him in January, but they are willing to sell him in the summer. And it just doesn't make sense for RB Leipzig to um, sell up Meccano to Liverpool, um, with Liverpool playing them in the Champions League next month. So it just doesn't make sense. Botman um, doesn't... That, that kind of fell away as well, so... Uh, Militao is another one which has been um, suggested as a possible target for Liverpool. He's not having the right amount of game time at Real Madrid. And Real Madrid are, 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 are willing to let him out on loan. Which does, which does, is is what I think we should do. I think, personally, my opinion is I think we should get someone in on loan. 
we obviously it was a mistake starting the season with three senior centre backs. One two were injury prone in Gomez and Matip, and you know, you know, it was it was just a disaster. We should have replaced Lovren, and um, but we didn't. We didn't. So um, my personal opinion is, I think. We should get someone in on loan. Like I prefer David Alaba, but I don't think I think he's keen on a Real Madrid uh, move, which is fair enough. Um, you know, would I take uh, a Militao? Absolutely. I think we. I think in order to keep in this title race and, and be in a big chance of keeping the title, we need a centre back quickly, and we need someone who can fill in the areas because we 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 we, we just haven't got the right people to cover um and i just don't think we can i just think it'd be unfair to rely on henderson to go in the back um just because he takes something out of midfield that we we need and you know it, we don't need an extra combination i seen a stat the other day liverpool have had 10 uh, senior center back partnerships in their last 18 games which is which is just mad, but and film Fabinho and Fabinho's been doing well, uh, specifically with the the makeshift defence, and he's been keeping clean sheets as well. Allison as well, so yeah, that's always a positive. But we need to be scoring goals, and we need Henderson in that midfield to to give something uh, for our strikers to and our attackers to cope with. But on to other positive news, um, it's reported that Liverpool are willing to. Um, renew Fabinho's and Virgil van Dijk's contracts uh, keeping them at the club till 2025 um, which is obviously very good news but we need to wait and see hopefully though Gini Wijnaldum stays at the club he signs his contract and, but Liverpool need to improve their contract offer because I don't think they realise um, what big of a player they would lose uh, if they did allow him to leave on a free as well so um yeah, out of all the Fenway Sports Group decisions, uh, I've liked every single one apart from this one. I think they really need to sort this one out. Um, and I think all of Liverpool and every Liverpool fan will agree with me. But uh, on that, we need to keep one out of You know, he is 30, but, you know, he, he's proven that he's he's still up there and he can play at the very best level. Um Right, that's it all for today. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to be uh, posting a video on um, the predictions for Game Week 19. Um, obviously, having a look at the top four watch and who is in this title race. Because it's a big question that needs to be asked. Who will drop out of this title race in February? Will it be Liverpool? Will it be Chelsea? I think Chelsea could be out of it already. Could it be Tottenham? Could it be Man United? Or will it just be a two-horse race like we've seen in 2018-19? All will be revealed tomorrow, but like, subscribe, turn the post notifications on, and I'll see you all tomorrow.